Hello everyone, this is Redact, and this game is called Suzerain. Last episode we figured out what, how we're going to spend money, more money on law enforcement to protect me, and more money on the army to protect me. So hopefully both those are on my side, I don't really care about the education and the health ministries, I don't think they really got that much power to do anything about me. I also have ultimate power, seeing as I've gone over the constitution and declared a state of emergency so now I have unlimited power and now I should be trying to get even more unlimited power so let's see yeah so this is back where we were before we've got three things we need to go for the evening walk we need to do the investment decision Let's just have a look at the quick look at the news. Here we go. Radical, they're always fun. Lunch of in times. Rain vetoes the workers' rights bill. Despite the very re recent mobile mine disaster. I, I'm sorry, but I didn't. I've got no budget. Look, I've got no budget. I spent it all on having more police and more military to deal with Rumsberg. So I decided to veto the workers' rights. It's called public outcry. <laughs> Protesters gathering near the disaster called for a resignation of, pres of President Rain. And the spokesperson for the mining group said he publicly employed President Rain for vetoing the unnecessary and absurd bill. Yeah, so the oligarchs might be happy with this, but I'm not going to give them a tax break and all the rest of the stuff that they wanted. I might increase it so I've got some more budget. Hopefully. Large of women's rights strike. Hundreds of state employees in critical infrastructure positions like transport, health and education organized the strike to highlight the issue of gender inequality. Issues of domestic violence, the wage gap, maternity leave and sexist attitudes in the education system. Strikes a clear sign of unhappiness among the women voter bloc. So raises the question, First Lady Monica Rain will increase the voices to trigger real change. I don't have a problem with giving women the rights. I mean, it is 1957, so I think we're probably one of the first countries to do that. At least in Europe, they was they was still hadn't done that in like the 70s, I think. So yeah, I don't have any issue with that. Backland Navy forces Agnolian drill ship to retreat from. Oh, okay, is that how it is? They drove it away. So it entered the area around Vangslandian Navy's prior permission. The legal occupation of Algerland does not give Agnolia the right to claim the seas. Alright, so this island is its like the Falklands or something. Hmm. There's been a permanent presence of the Vangslandian Navy in the Marcanian Sea region, mostly in the form of anti piracy force. Extra concern about Agnolia's increasing forays around Algae Land. Hmm. Oh, here we go. The Arcasia fires the M4 ICBM. First successful Arcasian intercontinental ballistic missile test. The fired missile code 9 missile 4 flew several thousands of kilometers towards the direction of United Contana before crashing. Hmm. So Arcasia wants to send a message to United Contana about island bases in the middle of the Oceana while displaying the Arcasia military technology in advance. Hmm. Radical. No empathy for the working class. Assembly which had so many different opinions came together to present a bill in the hopes of improving the labour rights in Swordland. But President Rain has shown no empathy for the struggles of the workers. This veto is a sign that the administration doesn't care as much for the average citizen of the country as I had hoped. Who's writing this? They need to go to the Ubilet. Doesn't say. I'll find out who you are. Mine disaster was tragic, but a good example why improving safety working conditions must be upheld. Okay. 
Right, let's carry on. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the evening walk first. Let's get that out of the way. It's early evening, still light out with a faint nip in the air. Frank was at friends and Deanna was at an art class. Monica and I decided to go out for the walk before dinner. Favorite place for a stroll was the nearby Capitol Park, the largest green space in all of Whole Sword. Before the children were born, we had spent many an evening engaged in deep conversation along the riverside promenade. Another favourite path ran through the woods behind the presidential housing complex to a private pond where the children could swim in summer. Saw that Sol himself had it built, the benefits of being president. Monica met me by the door and put on our coats and hats. I was going to suggest we walk towards Sol Square, but the guards told me it's been closed because of the emergency act. So many police officers in the city now, it's starting to remind me of the 20s. I wonder how long this will go on. It's as long as it has to. I understand. In either case, where should we go? I'm not sure Capital Park is a wise idea in this climate either. No, we're going to stay inside the gates for now. Okay, let's go then before the children get home. I informed the guards about our route and we left the house. Guards followed at a discreet distance as we headed towards the walking trail. As we entered the woods, Monica broke the silence. So how was your day? Paperwork, endless meetings, the usual nightmare. I'd rather not say, how is yours? Well, she's asked me how my day is, so I'll, I'll tell her what was going on. I don't know, I imagine some might find that simulate, stimulating. What about your day? Oh, it's fine. I caught up with some reading while the tuner at school. But outside the gate, I glimpsed Iona's Krona, the former Ministry of Justice, walking towards Capitol Park. I remember that... Nia used to be his vice minister. He didn't seem to notice us as he walked by. Okay, so I avoided him. He's once fought hard and strong against Sol's judiciary reforms, but many years of the government blocking his every move, he gave up on his ideals and became part of the administration. What did our ideals really mean if they could be changed so easily? What about the people we idolise? Evelyn also came round for tea. She says hi. She's feeling rather low, though. Apparently she and Pete had a bit of a disagreement. Yeah, what happened? Go on, gossip. Apparently Pete had too much whiskey as usual and didn't behave when... <laughs> his father was over for dinner yesterday. You know, Peter, what do you think of this? That's Peter, perpetually pickled. Let's have a talk. I'll have a talk with him. It's a rough patch, love. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's okay. I hope so. They all seem so close. Aren't you glad you and I don't have these kinds of quarrels? Being married to a shrew, it would make everyone turn to the bottle. <laughs> no, we won't say that. Didn't say anything. She kept walking. You know, Evelyn has been the same since what happened to her at the whole sword post last year. Do you remember how she got fired for supporting Alfonso? Peter tried everything to get her job back, but it didn't work. A sad day for journalism and free speech. You mean agree? A sad day indeed. But enough about the victims. I also spoke to Janice on the phone. Oh, Janice. Yeah, I don't, also don't know who Janice is. <laughs> you remember my friend from university? No, but okay. She's your friend from university. We're in the sordid literature class together. She is younger than me. Red head. Scar on the forehead. We had dinner with her and her husband once or twice. Neither the name nor the description rang a bell. I don't remember her, but go on. Anyway, she's been working as an executive assistant at the Violet Pictures Film Studio. Recently became pregnant and asked her boss for paid maternity leave, and guess what? What, he said no? He was fired. Oh, wow, she was fired for it. Can't the husband provide for both of them while she raises the child? Look at it, cost standpoint. Obviously, they don't want to lose money. Asking for maternity leave, that's terrible. That is terrible. I know, I was beside myself when she told me. And that's not all. Oh no, here we go. The immediate replacement with a younger, yet less experienced man. Son of an executive, no less. Well, cronyism, what do you expect? Utterly ridiculous. So she called the first lady to ask for help? Nepotism here. Huh? They must have wanted him there all along. Doesn't justify what they did to her. As it happens, another friend works for the television station that's hiring secretary, so I connected the two of them. Terrific problem, so 
problem is solved. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Monica is not going to be happy. It doesn't solve the deep problem. Do you find it starting to seem things my way? Women in this country are still seen as wives and mothers first, human beings second. House to work, underpaid, blocked from positions of power, and those are the lucky ones. But there are still places in this country where little girls like Deanna are denied the right to education. And I will do what I can to change that. It can't just be you. These little girls and people like Janice need someone to speak on their behalf, a role model, a successful woman. Uh, she's going to ask for a job in the administration or something. We reached the pond at the end of the trail. A park bench overlooked the water. Monica gestured to it. We sat down, which brings me to my point. And now the mayor of Enrica, Curtin Lesti, will be delivering a speech at the annual opening of the Benfi Festival. My wish is to take his place and deliver the speech instead. Lesti was one of Solon's most influential politicians. He had started his career in Benfi before rising to power in Enrica. Yeah, I'm, I can't use my power to do that. Replacing with Monica would likely anger him, but not enough to cause an immediate incident, but enough that he might su not support me in the assembly. I want to base the speech on women's rights in Swordland, on the oppression and discrimination we face every day. Basis of our sex alone. I want our voice heard, and this festival is the time to do it. I just need your blessing as my husband and the president of Swordland. Monica's eyes were blazing with a fire I hadn't seen since we were students. She wanted this badly. I had to be careful with my promises. You have my full support. So it's just a speech. What's the worst that can happen? Does it have to be at the festival? Why can't you make your speech another time? Yeah, can you do it another time? It has to be now. Thousands go to the festival. Millions watch the speeches at home. Swordland's women can't wait any longer. Uh, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't lose support of anyone in the in the assembly. Don't understand. After all I've done to support you, you can't support me on this. I don't want you to step into politics. I'm sorry, but I can't make Curtin less angry. Not the right time. Sword is facing too much political strife. We have to deal with women's rights later. <laughs> Women belong in home, not in politics. Yeah, let's sort out the other internal stuff before we start having women burning bras and stuff like that. Throwing themselves in front of horses or whatever. What little trouble this causes in the short term is nothing compared to the lasting positive change it will bring, not just for women, but for all of Swordland. Uh, I don't think so. No, we're not going to do it. Sorry. Monica was silent for a while, and then she finally spoke. There was a chill to her voice. That's truly how you feel. So be it. We walked back home, neither of us looking at the other. Okay, well, sorry, but... I will be doing what I can anyway. But I think that's just the wrong way to do it. Okay, what else is coming up? Read the report, read the report. Budget allocation of law enforcement. Okay, let's do the budget allocation of law enforcement. It's in the office reading reports from the ministries about the current situation of the protests. My next scheduled meeting was about the law enforcement budget with Nia and Lilius. I heard some knocks on the door. Nia entered, took a seat in front of my desk. Lilius was absent. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Lilius will be late. Apparently there was an urgent matter at the Ministry of the Interior she has to attend to. Shouldn't take long. What urgent matter? What urgent matter? Is it something about supply distribution for the police forces? Nothing major. Turn to my reports and Nia smoothed back to an errant strand of her hair. There was an awkward silence. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't we have a little chat? Chat about your emergency decree. Sure, let's have a chat. Okay. Happy to talk, always. You are repeating Sol's mistakes again. This is not what we were elected for. Mistakes to Sol. He made this country great what it currently is. You don't agree with my decision. Times change. Internal and external threats has to be eliminated. Times do change, but the method's clearly not. She sighed. Keep thinking about it, I come to the same conclusion every time. There's no way I can get behind this. Don't forget I have a voice in the court. Enough. I've already made, gave the decision and what is left for you to follow it. Trust me, I'm doing all of this for the well-being of Swordland. She opened her mouth to answer, but there was a knock at the door. Lalias Graf entered the room. 
Mr. President Nia. I hope I'm not interrupting your conversation. Not at all, we were just discussing a few things. Nia smiled. Sorry for being late, there was an important matter at the Ministry. Just a small dispute over who should get the supplies, nothing major. Lalia took the seat next to Nia as she continued talking. Before we begin, your call to boost the police to react to the protests has helped us tremendously in maintaining public safety. Few incidents seem to have happened due to the inexperience of the recruits coming from the police academy. They were relieved of duty immediately. Well then, let's go straight in. We will provide a brief update on the situation of law enforcement. Go ahead. Nia? The Ministry of Justice and the Supreme Court is working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Interior to address the protests in the country. Our efforts wrapped up quite a bit recently, especially after the declaration of the emergency decree. Must add that thanks to the hard work of the judiciary, the law enforcement forces assigned to my ministry are doing their jobs efficiently. I would call it the success of our forces on the ground, not due to the judicial branch of our government. Oh, here we go. Dahlia shot near a brief, withering glance. As expected, the budget increases boost in morale of the employees and law enforcement agencies. In these dire times, my people and Nia's people are especially delighted. I think we're glad to hear that the support for you among the forces is at an all-time high. Yes, ultimate power will be mine. And for that, all I say is bravo. This was an excellent decision. Agreed. And the Ministry of Justice, we are very happy with the decision as well. Backlog of the court cases are dwindling and we have started to fulfill the needs of the current situation. Certainly a step in the right direction. Thank you. I'm glad you approve. I don't need their approval. <laughs> of course it was the right decision. I made it after all. <laughs> I did what it's expected of me, that's all. Of course. Well, then let's move on to what we're actually here for. Due to the budget increase, we can start doing much more as the main branches of security in Swordland. However, this has to be made about the budget balance between the Ministry of the Interior and the Ministry of Justice. Exactly. When deciding, you must look at the bigger picture. I believe you make the right decision and pick the Ministry of the Interior. Why should... Why should I pick the Ministry of the Interior? Mr. Interior is much more significant and important government agency that is in need of the funds, especially during these times when there are many protests in the country. Good luck prosecuting criminals or going through the local government laws without enough judges. Okay, so, so we've got oppression, court backlog we need to sort out. We'll sort out the human, we can't do this human rights because I vetoed it. There's some rivalry still going on. Court battle we need to get rid of. What's going on in order? Corruption, organized crime. Yeah, we might need to vote. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Why should I pick the Ministry of Justice? Each day the stacks of legal cases are piling up for judges. Cases for corruption and criminals are delayed due to lack of funds. This is the organizational issue, not a funding one. Interior needs the money more for the police and local governments. I have increased funding. And I have also put more, more police in, uh, on the ground. And they seem to be dealing with the internal stuff at the moment. So I'm thinking uh, to do more. I, 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 I'm also hesitating because she's angry with me. I don't want to give her more funding. In case she uses it against me. But giving her my, more money might make her happy with me. So I'm just thinking about that in the back of my, hand, uh, back of my head. What if I decide to balance the budget? Balancing the budget won't help as much. The current situation clearly demands that decision choices made to benefit the nation. I agree. We need to focus on one ministry to achieve tangible results. Of course, what would make the most sense in the current situation would improve the most neglected Ministry of Justice that would improve the legal system. Tell me, Nia, who brings the criminals before the justices? Let me answer. The police force is connected to the Ministry of the Interior. They don't like each other. I am ready to make a decision. Before you decide, I would like to remind you of your obligations and promises made as the leader of this administration, Mr. President. What will it be? Funds will go to the interior to be used to improve the police and local governments. The budget will be distributed equally. 
Plans will go to the just Ministry of Justice to reduce the court backlog and improve the justice system. Yes. Bad decision making. Okay, you're fired. The right choice. It was time that Ministry of Justice got the funds it needs. Brief moment of deliberation passed. Lydia has got up from her seat. I must return to Ministry to implement necessary changes. Very well. See you soon, Lilius. I need to have a few words with Mr. President. Lilius left the room. Here is my proposal. Corruption has been a major issue with any government. It is the root of all evil. I agree. That's why I'm proposing the formation of the anti-corruption police. Yes, we can get rid of that guy that's my political enemy. He's the leader of the opposition. It's a sub-branch of the Ministry of Justice. The ACP would be given full authority by the President to investigate corrupt government officials and citizens. Yes! Especially come in handy when dealing with the corruption in high positions. The Supreme Court and oligarchs that meddle in politics are just a few examples. Okay, I have a deal with the Supreme Court. Sort of. Nothing signed, though. I don't mind stabbing them in the back later. That's fine with me. If you accept, this will make our administration the ability to deal with corruption quickly and decisively. Very well. Form the anti-corruption police. Yes. Excellent. I shall start the prep work. Are you happy with me now? You're making good decisions after good decisions today, Mr. President. I will be in touch. Nia got up and left the room. Alright. Okay, oh, here we go. Codex. What happened? Governmental anti corruption police. Founded by the fourth president of Swordland, Anton Rain. Yes. Vetoed workers' rights. I rejected Monica's request to make the opening speech. I ordered Nia to form the anti corruption police. I allocated increased like Yes. I am a genius. What's going on here? Red Youth members charged with terrorism and treason. Been tried and sentenced to 97 years in prison due to terrorism terrorism related charges in Burin. Many old Red Reef members are waiting for their turn in prison. Well, this is a good, also a good reason why we've increased justice system uh, to increase that backlog. What's going on here? Okay, the regional investment decision. I'm not, I can't spend any money. Sorry, but it's just not possible. Mass surveillance resulting in. 1984? Hmm? Is that a reference to something? I wonder. Sordis Intelligence Agency reports that new surveillance laws have provided the possibility to stop protester gathering before they even started. Results are extraordinary and it allowed 19, 1984 residents, sorry, 1,984 dissidents posing a danger to Sordis to be arrested in recent days alone. Good. Everyone must obey me. BFF bombs police station. In a treacherous attack, the BFS had bombed a police station in Dyer. Hmm. Initial casualties were three officers dead, 22 wounded. Perpetrators escaped into the Gunren Mountains near Uziren. Search has been started to bring them to justice. The border guard has been notified in case they tried to flee through Wehrland. Workers' party condemned the incident. Sure. Sure. Dyer under lockdown after arrest of UPB. After the arrest of the leader of the WPB, the Blue populace have been rioting. Right, there's the Workers' Party. I think these are the ones that I made a illegal party, wasn't it? I think so. Where does it say? Immunity. Yeah, BF, BF, they're banned. They're banned. Yeah, they're banned. Anti-corruption law. New legal initiative under the Ministry of Justice that combats government corruption along with anti-corruption police. Increased justice spending. The budget. Been increased. Anti-corruption campaign. Efficient justice system. Newest improvements and changes to the justice system incre caused increased judicial efficiency. Positive judicial personnel. Increased justice budget has increased, created positive mood in judicial personnel, increasing respect for the new government. Everyone loves me. 
apart from the people. So I need to do something about women's rights, that would be nice, and human rights, that would be nice. Oppression, that's going to happen because they have been rioting and protesting and doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. As long as everyone obeys me, you'll all be fine. Anti-corruption police. I will suspend some of this stuff as well, but we need to sort out corruption, illegal immigration, organized crime, corruption and organized crime. So we should start that, that stuff out. What's going on here? Young Souls members arrested and face terrorism charges. They were plotting to bomb a rally. They were caught by the police. They confessed to their plans and did it in response to the ban on the Young Swords. Each sentence 154 years in prison. Oh my goodness. Well, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't disobey me. This is protesters protesting against police brutality arrested. Okay, so all happening in Lenko against police brutality has been broken up by the police. <laughs> Water cannons and tear gas. <laughs> Oh dear, okay fine. 16 students detained for organizing rally. Arrested and taken into solitary confinement. Due to the removal of the trial process, the rest were made much faster. Yes. Once everything has been sorted out, I will relax in maybe 50 years. Alright, so what's going on here? Okay, let's read the report. General staff commends the administration. The general staff convened at Camp Strong Arm. Session much shorter than usual. Concluded with positive military analysis of Sword and field capabilities. Chief of the Armed Forces made a public statement praising the administration and its efforts to support the most important branch of the government. All staff generals signed a letter of support. Yes, I have the military on my side. No one can touch me. The judges love me. The police love me. Yeah, it's all going extremely well. 3,684 were taken into custody after unlawfully protesting. Wow. Protesting unlawfully after passing the emergency decree. Out of the 3,684, 134 have been arrested and charged. The interrogation is still underway. Better not be part of any of those criminal organizations or you'll go, in, you'll go to jail forever. Right. So I know that we can go into a deficit, but I don't want to because something really urgent might come up. Right. One of the top three economically fragile regions by boosting the municipality budgets, but finding large sums of business grants and giving cheap loans to companies with liquidity problems. We don't have the money, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that, well, that's going to be the end of that episode. So my wife's not very happy with me, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just can't, I don't want to piss off anyone yet until I've got blackmail material of them, on them, which I'll hopefully get at some point. I don't know what, whether the game will do that or not. So I'll maybe just be talking out my ass as usual, but it's fine. And... Yeah, the military are happy, the police are happy, the judges are happy. So, we just got to keep cracking down on the protesters, putting all the terrorists in jail, and make sure Rumberg don't do anything stupid. And eventually, I hope to get an alliance with someone, trade deals and things like that. I think they're still working on it. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care.